What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. I'm going to reiterate that Errol Spence Jr. is fighting on November 19th on Showtime. And I believe it will be Showtime pay per view. Now, the location that I'm hearing is either Cowboy Stadium or in Las Vegas. But make no mistake about it, Errol Spence Jr. is fighting on November 19th. You have people who are speaking for Chance Crawford. Or people who are getting their info from Team Crawford. Are out here saying that if the fight does happen, it's going to happen in January or February. They're trying to manipulate the November 19th date because they heard that Errol Spence Jr. is fighting on that date with or without Crawford. So they're trying to manipulate the perception of the public about November 19th. Basically saying, hey, 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 uh, get off that November 19th date, Errol. You know, that's fight January or February. But if you really uh, listen to the whole thing that was brought out by Michael Carpenter, who has no ties to the PBC, he also says that Crawford might take another fight before the Spence fight. So they know what time it is. They know Spence's fight November 19th. They know the clock is ticking. And I'm hearing through the grapevine that we're going to get some concrete news on Errol Spinks Jr.'s next opponent for November 19th. Make no mistake about it. So we will see what happens and we will see what transpires. But don't believe all this. Oh, man, November 19th is out for Errol Spinks Jr. If he fights Crawford, it'll be in January or February. It ain't going to be in no January. Jamel Charlo's got the only date that the PBC has lined up for January. That's a bad month anyway. You got the NFL playoffs going on. That's not a good month. February... That could transpire. You know, you fight the week before the Super Bowl. That Saturday before the Super Bowl, eight days before the Super Bowl, you fight that date. Then maybe that could be a date that could be lined up. But that's not going to happen because L. Smith Jr. is going to fight before the end of the year. And if Crawford can't agree to terms, if they can't come to an agreement to finalize the fight, he will take on, in all likelihood, his WBA mandatory at Mantia Stionis, or he'll move up to 154 and make his debut at the junior middleweight division. So we will see what happens, and we will see what transpires. But miss me with all this. Earl Spence Jr. Crawford is now on tap if it does get finalized to take place in January and February. There ain't nothing but Team Crawford coming out here trying to manipulate that date. They hear that Spence is fighting on that date. And they don't believe that the PBC wants to make the fight between Earl Spence Jr. and Crawford. So they're trying to throw an other dates out there to try to basically get the public perception in their favor. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. Follow me on Facebook, Gerard.Briscoe.3551. Like, share, and subscribe to JB Sports. The man, the myth, the legend. And I holler.